This is a book called Earth Day Fun with Sid the Science Kid. Guess what, said Sid. Dad and I are doing something extra cool after school today. We're planting a tree, and not just any tree. It's a brand new baby tree. Dad says trees are good for our, earth, our planet, Earth. Plus, we get to play in the dirt. Mom doesn't always like it when I play in the dirt. It gets on my clothes and toys and sometimes on the walls. But dirt can't help getting things dirty. What is in dirt anyway? Good morning, Sid, said Mom. Morning, said Sid. Mom, I was just wondering, why don't you like dirt? I like dirt fine when it's outside, said Mom. Did you know there are many kinds of dirt? There is potting soil, said Mom. There is dirt in our yard, and there is desert dirt, which is mostly made of sand. Dad bought potting soil to use when you plant your tree. It's dirt for planting things. Cool, said Sid. I'll dig into this more at school. At school, Sid found his friends. Hey, guys, said Sid. What do you think is in dirt? I know, said Gabriella. Dirt has stuff in it that's good for plants and trees. Dirt has worms in it, said May. I saw one, and I named it Mortimer. I know all about dirt, said Gerald. I play in dirt piles a lot. Dirt is full of tiny rocks. Good answers, said Sid. In class, Sid told teacher Susie about the tree he would plant. My dad says it's Earth Day, he said. It sure is, teacher Susie said. And we can make every day Earth Day by taking care of our planet. We need to take care of the trees, said Gerald. And the animals, said Gabriella. And the oceans, said May. Right on, said Teacher Susie. We need to keep dirt clean, too. Dirt or soil is very important. Let's find out why in the Super Fab Lab. <clears throat> what makes soil so important, asked Teacher Susie. Trees grow in soil, said Sid. Vegetables do, too, said May. Like spinach, yuck, said Gerald. Very good, dirt detectives. Now, let's find out what's in soil. Dirt detective Sid and his friends took a close look at their soil. The soil is all different colors, said Gabriella. But I found a plastic straw, too, she said. That doesn't belong in soil, so I recycled it. I saw bits of leaves and twigs, said Sid, and a cool-looking worm. I put him back in the dirt. Worms are good for the soil, said Teacher Susie. I'm proud of all of you. You know a lot about keeping the earth healthy. Next, the kids had a birthday party for the earth. I'll be the earth, said Gerald. Make a birthday wish, said May. I wish to be clean, said Gerald. We can all help, said Sid. I can walk more places so we don't use the car so much, said Gabriella. And I can recycle, said May. We can do a lot to help the earth. When Sid got home, he and Dad planted the baby tree. Trees make the earth happy, said Sid. And healthy soil helps baby trees grow into big trees. Caring for the earth feels good. Plus, it is fun to get dirty. And that... Here's some earthy jokes. What did the worm's mom say when he came home late? Where on earth have you been? <laughs> what do trees drink? Root beer. What do you get when you wear a purple cowboy hat, pink pants, and an orange shoes, and then jump in a mud puddle? You get dirty. What do you get when you take all the trees and all the oceans and all the animals and all the soil? The earth. Happy Earth Day. And that was Earth Day Fun. It was a Sid the Science Kid book. Hope you enjoyed it and that you subscribe and come back often. We got lots of good books to share. <laughs>